Take a look at this one. We have, oh, somebody crashing. No gear, lots of people crashing. What's gonna happen here? Hello everyone. Today. Hello. We're gonna come up with five different tips. Help me remember what these tips are. Rogers. So the main tips are gonna be about road stretch. Moto stars, quiet. Main tips are gonna be focusing. Dude, I'm just crashing. So right there, let's take a quick look at this one right here because Motostars was distracting. We're going to be switching lanes. We're taking a quick look at this. We have some brake lights here. Maybe didn't see it happening. We still looking left, looking left, looking left. Finally look forward and we slam the front brake. So first tip number one is be a smart rider so you can recognize and understand hazard situations. Getting onto the interstate is a merging area, so that's going to be an orange stage. So tip number one is being situationally aware and focus up front you are traveling oh. but great job on the progressive brake pressure as much as he possibly could have all right motorcycle crash here we go i can actually see him sliding oh there's a bike there is a bike so we got a quad lock on that one how's he doing so he's got full gear just uh took off the top because it's probably really hot so his legs are probably good moving on 210 freeway lane filtering or lane splitting Oh, 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 nice little swerve. Swerve more or get yourself out of that position. Great job on that. Great job. Elitix Gamer. Oh, he crashed. He dumped the bike. So tip number two is get yourself some gear. Oh, he's checking his butt. His butt hurts a little bit. He probably broke his coccyx. Tip number two, get some gear. Buy some. We have links in the description. Just sit down for a second. There you go. So he's looking at his knee, yeah, his left knee. Yeah, your bike's fine. It's kind of destroyed. It's taking a piss. Moving on. Pure ride in 900. Lesson for both the rider and the passenger. Wear some gear. In the right gear, everything would have ended without any injury. Exactly. Wear some gear. Sharp right turn right there because, oh, wait, it looks like we had something on the ground. You had a passenger too. Tell me you gave her your gloves. Nope. Oh, you see? oh no. All right, tip number three, do not ride with a passenger unless you have gear for your passenger. If you don't have gear for yourself, just say, sorry, I can't, I'm not going to take you on the bike because I don't even have gear for myself. I'm going to put my, I'll put myself at risk. Putting you at risk is something different. Look at the, you can kind of see the discoloration on the back. There, there's some problems here. You can easily break some bones, especially in the spine. The road transfer, the road dirt transfer on her back. Sorry. I mean, if you're traveling and everything, I, I guess I can see that. Oh man, wear some gear. Number three, do not ride with passenger unless everyone has gear. I, oh. Where'd her leg come from? Oh no. Look at, so you can see the road rash on the arms. Here we go. So that was tip number three. Let's see if we can remember. Tip number four. What's tip number four? Here we go. Going through an intersection. It's going to be automatic orange stage, prepped and ready for anything like side of the vehicle. Why are we stopped, right? Good. Ooh. I was about to say good swerve, but it didn't. he didn't make it. He didn't make it. Originally occurred in Phoenix. Oh, I live in Tucson. What happened, buddy? Max Edward, are you doing okay? I was hit by a 2012 Toyota 4Runner, totaled my 2013. Hey, you get a whole new bike now, right? The woman was not paying attention and failed to yield. She was deemed 100% at fault. Three broken ribs and received many bruises. Currently waiting for the insurance to pay out for motorcycle medical bills. Please pay attention for motorcycle riders. A lot of it, I mean, if you really look at it, when it comes up to here, right? So we're going up through here. We're in an intersection. We're prepped and ready for anything. We have a line of sight issue. It's green light. Why are the people in the left lane stopped? You know what I mean? Why are they stopped? Is it because they can't go through the intersection? Because look at the intersection. It's kind of blocked. So yeah, okay, they're stopped. They should be stopped because you're not supposed to block the intersection. The lady turning left, she shouldn't have turned left because she couldn't see anybody in the right lane, right? So she just gunned it. She just decided to go because, oh, look, they stopped for me. I'm just trying to explain what I see here. It might not be the, the full case going on, but they, she decided to go. Now, we have a line of sight issue when it comes to all of this stuff, okay? You can't see much. can't see much. So she decided to go in that situation. We tried our best to swerve, okay? We tried our best to swerve. As soon as we saw it, there's a little bit of an acceleration to swerve to get ourselves out of the way, but you notice how there's not much we could have done. Looks like he's got some gear on. Still some broken ribs. Couldn't do much. So couldn't do much during that situation, but when we're coming up to here, and this is why it's very important to be a smart rider and seek and recognize and understand hazardous situations, is because the moment we got into here, 
the moment we got up to right here is when we had to do something. I want to do something back here. And what I mean by that is that why are these people stopped? I'm going to slow down. Why are these cars in the left lane? It's a green light. Why are they stopped? I'm slowing down. I don't have a good line of sight to any left turners. And if that's a problem for me, then it's going to be a problem for the other driver. So the driver that's turning left can't see me. I can't see them. I don't know if they're there. I don't even know if there's anything there. I don't know if there's a person. I don't know if there's a, a, a spaceship all of a sudden landed right there. I don't know. I can't see. So what I'm going to do is roll out the throttle, apply some progressive brake pressure, kind of go through the intersection slowly. Because if I get up to here and I'm rolling off the throttle and I'm applying some brakes and I'm, and I'm seeing, hey, you know, this is a hazard situation, I'm already slowing down. I'm already having traction on that front tire. I'm already prepped for anything that might be happening. So that's the big thing here. So I'm already ready. I'm already ready for anything that could happen versus something that is happening. Now I got to become ready and I got to do something. Now I'm not saying that's not what this person did. They, they probably could have been doing that, but I, I want to take it the extra step and slow it down. I want to slow it down. Maybe put myself in a better position to where I can see a little bit better. So I'm going to be off on the right. You know what I mean? So slow it down, prepped and ready. 405 bike life. All right, we still got tip number four we got to do, okay? I'm switching over. Why are we going? Something must have happened mechanically. Something must have happened. His brakes are smoking. You see that front brake? His front brake lock up? So he's got his side stand down. That's good. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you holding the rotor, dude? That's pretty hot. Let's take a look. Oh, master cylinder locks up on me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so something happened. Yeah. Good. Don't touch the rotors. Like, don't put your hand on it like that. That's hot. Sacromaniac, once again, we're going a little crazy on the last video, buddy. Oh, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, did the best he possibly could. And that person's just going to take off? No, they're just trying to find a spot. Pull over. Yeah, you're not supposed to be doing that. All right. Cool. He did, he did what he could, handled it well, applied the brakes, moved on. It's just going to be an argument about who did what. All right. Mickey Mac. Oh. Okay, I do not recommend doing this. So tip number four, don't ride with people like this, especially if you're a brand new rider. And if you're an experienced rider, just take it to the track. So tip number four. Estimated their capabilities and when found in the beach. Look at that rear tire just sliding all over the place. Stay in their own lane. Look at that. It's like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Like... Dude, your leg could have got smashed. What are we doing? Okay, so here's the thing. People are going to do this either way. Okay, I, what I've come to terms with after watching thousands of these videos is that people are going to do this either way. So if you're going to do this either way, Get gear, please, because I'm asking, it's a request, get gear, please, and get some medical trauma training. So get yourself a medical or trauma kit, okay? It's better to get a trauma kit, especially in a situation like this, because you're probably going to have trauma. Um, and make sure you get that training, because if you're going to be putting yourself in such a high-risk situation, you have to be able to survive afterwards. Like, like wh why put yourself in such a risky spot if you don't want to survive? Now, if you have a death wish, cool, I guess. But I, I just, I can't fathom, I wouldn't do this. So, I mean, it's just really difficult for me to, to figure this out. So, I mean, if you're just going to do it, wear, wear full gear to minimize injuries and then get yourself a trauma kit so that you don't die. Did, did we already do tip four? I think we did. So tip five, we got to figure out what tip five is. Tico's world. But eventually managed to slow Side of the boat. The All right, we're, we're also going pretty fast. This is more of a straighter area, but this is where it can get you because there's probably going to be a sharp right or a sharp left turn coming up or somebody just dumps it. There's a sharp right. 
It's very, there it is. We went too fast around a corner. People can go really fast and, and bikes are just so, bikes are so good at going fast in a straight line. And you don't really know, you don't really know how fast you're traveling in feet per second, yards per second, meters per second, whatever. And, and turns and exits just come at you so quick. And so then it's like, okay, I could just apply the brakes, but you're applying the brakes within, let's say five seconds of the inner or uh, the turn, but you're climbing speed for the last 20. So you can't just slow down in five seconds when you've been climbing for over 20 seconds. You're just going so fast and it's a straight line. It's easy. You can see very far, but then the moment that turn comes up, you're like, okay, I could just slow down like I normally do. And it's like, no, dude, you're going twice as fast as you normally do. So you got to slow down twice as far as you normally do. And that's where things typically happen. You have to relax with that. You have to like slow it down way ahead of time or just don't go this fast. So tip number five, tip number five, if you're going to be going super fast on straightaways, make sure that you can handle turns at the appropriate speed. Going too fast. Did she do it on purpose? Probably not. Looks like an open lane pattern. The vehicle on the left's gonna switch over. So she switched lanes on purpose, but she didn't try to hit you on purpose. I think that's what we're trying to get at here. It's an open lane pattern. All right, lane filtering. Okay, open pattern right there, watch out. I wouldn't lane fi Yeah, there you go. Good, good job. Good job instead of getting pissed. And good job recognizing that people can do that. What an ass. Like, why? What? As a motorcycle rider, like, okay, it's dangerous. But then, like, as, as the, uh, the Toyota guy, it's like, what is it that you're doing? Like, why do you care? Why do you care? It's not affecting your life. It's not affecting you. But this was a great swerve, handled the situation, moved off. It's like, screw you, dude. You couldn't, you can't, you can't dodge, you can't do anything to me. I can swerve out of the way, I can dodge out of the way, I can do everything. And that's the cool thing about motorcycles, is that we could do this. So let's not waste that opportunity. We could do that at slow speed, high speed, when it comes to navigating stuff. So be careful going fast around blind turns. Yeah, you never know what is around the other side. Dead animal stopped car or deputy sheriff backing up into the road. I'm assuming a deputy sheriff backing up into the road. There it is. <laughs> Not much you could do in that situation. Melbourne motorcycle camera. All right, here we go. We still got a tip five. There's a side of the vehicle right there. So tip number five, sides of the vehicles. Watch out for those sides of the vehicles because we need to start finding escape paths when it comes to that stuff. So an escape path is where we're going to have to swerve. We can also apply some brakes. Um, but the main thing here is watch out for that. So we're right now traveling. We're going to be in yellow stage, kind of prepped and ready for things, you know, hanging out, relaxing. And then all of a sudden we see that side of the vehicle. Huh. That's, that looks like a hazard situation. We need to make sure we can assess if it's a relevant threat. So we're going to go into orange stage. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're going to creep out into my lane. What do we have? We could swerve left into the other lane. Nice little lane change. That's, I guess that's considered a swerve. Handled it, though. Did a great job. Hey, anyway, that was tip number five. Liquor Chronicles, here we go. Maybe we'll get a little bonus tip. There's a the side of the vehicle. Ooh, ooh, almost coming out. Almost got hit by the other vehicle. Thankfully, they were turning right. Can't hear anything. Jeez, the wind noise. Mr. Ping Man. All right, here we go. Beautiful sunset. Please don't get hit. Please don't get rear-ended. Whoa! Dude, delivery drivers. It's the, what are, you, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, you're welcome, Moto Stars. Thank you so much for putting these together. Sign up for the MTC Rider Academy. Grab a donut and go ahead and get out. Yeah, there you go.